Oh yeah. Should I ask him? Yeah. How's it going? Everything good? We actually have a question for you. Yeah, what's up, bud? She does for her YouTube channel so we can educate the public. Okay. I don't want to be on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that lucky land shark fishing shirt you guys said you wanted shirts. Well, guess what? We got them. Link in description. Check them out. All right, guys. So what happened today? Rick and I did some snakehead fishing. We're on the side of the road and Mr. FWC pulls well, he's driving by us and he was actually going past us and Brooke really wanted to do a snakehead catch and cook, right? I did, yeah. <laughs> and and then so we kind of sig signaled him over, like waving at him. Mm, we didn't technically call him over. He was stopping and he then I was, was like, oh, perfect. I have the opportunity to ask him a question. Which was? I've been wanting to know exactly, to have an F FWC officer tell me the exact regulations on snakehead fishing because there's a lot of different, like he said, she said on it. And not just snakehead fishing, but all invasive species, yeah. which includes clown knife fish, which are like these highly prized game fish we have down here in South Florida now. Maine cichlids, Oscars, um, all that other stuff, uh, Midas cichlids, all these things are invasive. But if you guys want to find out the answer to that, that is going to be on Brooke's channel. She's making her own separate video. I'm not trying to steal her thunder. That's her <laughs> video. But um, so what happened to me was we got pulled over and I got a ticket. But guess what? It's just a warning. So I was very happy. And the reason I got a warning from this very kind FWC officer who I will not mention because he asked his identity remain anonymous and I'm respecting that. Um, I got a warning because I did not have a freshwater license. So whether or not um, you guys know this, to fish, they're sorry, the bugs are crazy right oh, here yeah. down here in South Florida right now. <laughs> whether or not you guys know this, in South Florida and all of Florida, you actually need a license to fish freshwater, which I knew, but you know, I was in the wrong. I, I, I mean, I'm very happy that I got a warning, but I bought a license on the spot. And so the officer let us go with just a warning. Brooke has her lifetime license, but let this be a lesson to anyone who's watching this video that you can get a ticket and you can get a hefty citation for fishing freshwater. And if you had been harvesting something, you're most likely getting a ticket and not a warning because that just adds to the pile of things you did illegally. You harvested a fish without a license. Luckily we had nothing. The flies are going crazy. Oh, yeah. um, so two things I want to kind of bring up about that experience was this officer was very nice. Um, if you guys ever get pulled over by the police, by FWC officer, by anyone of authority, play it cool. They don't know who you are. You know, there's a lot of stuff in the media these days, uh, people getting in altercations with cops, but they're just doing their jobs, guys. They're not assholes. They just, they're, they, we pay taxes for them to protect us. He was very nice. He's doing his job because you know what? Someone down the road may have been poaching. So he's just doing his job and I respect that. A second thing is, don't be afraid to ask this, these FWC officers or anyone in a uniform questions. This guy was very nice. We mm -hmm. talked to him for how long? Probably almost an hour. <laughs> an hour. We talked to him about shark fishing off the beach, all sorts of things, Goliath grouper regulations, yep. and he was just teaching us. You know, he's doing this job because he loves it. He's passionate about, about the outdoors like we are. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of cool information out of him. And uh, I got his business card now, so if I ever have a question, I can call him up, and it's my personal like FWC hotline, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's like, all right, can I keep this? And he'll probably tell me. So um, yeah, this video was not very entertaining, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. Some big news, today is Sunday. In two days, Brooke and I will be in the Bahamas, in West End, having a wonderful time. This is the first time I have ever been to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Brooke's no newbie to the Bahamas, but you guys are gonna get spoiled rotten with the footage from the Bahamas. I'm talking about crystal clear blue water, shooting hogfish, diving with sharks, conks, lobster, um, grouper, all sorts of things. We're gonna be doing catch and cooks. We're gonna be doing deep dropping. We're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff. So you guys look forward to that series. That is gonna be a pile of videos. I'm gonna do at least five to six videos just from that. And one final announcement. The shirts are in. You guys, I know I've been I've been kind of preachy about it and I'm sorry, but July 31st is the last day you guys can order these shirts. It's on pre-order right now. So there's the white one. I also got a black one available for sale. Um, check the link in the description box below. And as always, stay salty. We'll see you in the next one. 
and hopefully the next video you guys will see will be a Bahamas one and you guys should get very excited about that.